Okay, I'm back with part four, and I think I said I was gonna have a visit the garden. Yeah, so where is my garden? I don't even remember where the hell the garden is placed. Oh, right here. So go visit Japanese Rock Garden 2. It's titled that because I had to save it in as the second piece, because remember, there's the, as I showed you at the beginning, there's the big one and the small one. So I'm gonna see if there's anyone actually here. Wow, this lot's actually really pretty at night. I don't think anyone's actually here, though. <sighs> no, doesn't look like it, sadly. But that's okay, I guess. I mean, these lots never really were filled very much by people anyway, especially not ones like this. Although, judging by how many people were at the parks, like I said, I figured there'd be at least one person here, but no. But that's okay. I do love the lot, though. It's a really pretty place, especially at night now that I look at it. So, yeah. I'm really proud of myself for actually being able to create something like this. Uh, anyway, that's not what it was. That was Nate Richardson feeling bookish and took a trip to the library. When did he go to the library? I didn't even know he went there. Does he know anyone new yet? No, still the same people, but that's good because you're starting to get to know people, so. Go on, and I guess you can go home. It's late. And she's already in bed, I think, yeah. So, let's see. She... So yeah, because Thursday he had off, but she has work in 14 hours, and so does he, and he has to work through the weekend, but she's off on uh, Sunday, so Sunday I can have her do something. Uh, but yeah. So, let's see, actually. I'm not going to visit the places, but I kind of want to zoom in and see if anyone's actually anywhere. Because you can see who's there without even being there. So, this is the Custer's Market. And I don't think they're even open right now, but it's a little building. That's open. And you can go down and look inside of it. I wonder what kind of market it even is. It's just a little thing here. With counters in an island. So, I don't know. It's it's okay, I guess. I just don't know what it is. But, yeah. It's probably good for, like, Sims 1 standards. Because that's what most of these lots are. What is this over here? Oh, it's an empty home. Okay, but yeah, while they sleep, I guess I could just look around the map. I tend to do that a lot. And that's the park, obviously, and here's the pool. I doubt anyone would be at the pool late. Or, no, it's not late at night anymore. It's 5 in the morning. Once the pool actually loads. I might have to go to the pool later. Maybe she can go here on her on her day off and take a swim. Because I want to see if anyone will be here while I'm swimming. I mean, I haven't been here before, actually. What's inside these buildings, anyway? Are these, like... Yeah, there's, like... It's not just the pool, it's like a whole community place. Cool. There's like little benches and little chairs here. I might I might refurnish some of this, honestly, to make it look better. And then there's this little area over here with a coffee maker. And it's like a little kitchen bar area. Those are interesting colors, okay. And then this back here is just a little garden area with chess tables. And I know, that sounds fun. And over here is basically identical, only this has a little bar. I might replace this with a, uh, not a professional bar, but with a nicer bar and change the countertops. And then little foosball tables. Awesome. With little llamas. That looks like it's a fun place to go. In fact, like I said, on her day off, I think I'll have her visit it. Or I could just have them visit it now since it's early morning, but I don't know. They'd have to go to work after, so it'd be kind of weird. So it's kind of one of those, I guess, Yeah. They will start in nine hours. Well, she's up, actually, so... I guess I can maybe try and see if anyone will appear there while I'm there, but... I don't know. So, yeah, I guess I'll check out the pool. Yeah, sure, why don't you go here? Visit the community pool. With Nate. See if you guys will both show up, and if not, oh well. I wonder if anyone will actually be here by the time I get here, though. Because no one's here yet. But maybe people will show up through the day. And by through the day, I mean by the time it hits the time they have to go to work, which is three, so... 
Let's see, from what it looks like, like I said, no one's here yet, but it's early, so maybe people will show up later. Oh yeah, and this side over here must be the bathroom side, so you walk in, and there's these bathrooms here and these bathrooms here, which also have showers. Which is funny, because they're closed off showers, but really all you have to do, for now that I have the store set, is open up this whole corner here, and just put the door there. In fact, just for future reference, I'm going to do that now, because that would be so much- oh, whoops, I can't do that that way. I should go back to live mode, actually, and go back to the pool. I forgot you just click it and hit build buy on the slot, really. In edit town you could do it, but I also could probably do it here. Just zoom in. And since I have testy cheats enabled, I can do it here. Hang on just a sec. There. I have to, I had to enable build on the slot. I forgot to do it because I want it. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to overhaul this whole pool. This pool is cool. I do like it, but I might refurnish some of it later on and make it look a little bit nicer. That way I'm not, I'm not going to do it now because I would take up the whole video, but I want to redo this little area over here where the showers are because it's, it's too much. There's too much doors. I can completely redo this now because I have uh, the store set, or that came, the dance studio set, oops, that came with the shower, the it's not gross public shower. So really all I have to do is make this a public area with pub public showers along, around the walls. So that way it's more wide open and it's just a little showering room for everyone. And I know that sounds kind of gross, but they, they stay in their swimwear when they shower. So, I mean, swim in the pool, take a shower when you're done, and go home. Or go to work, in their case. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So, I like the way the lights are. The lights are okay, I guess, even though they're not really even. So, maybe I'll make them more even. This one's... Yeah. I'm going to make them actually even. So, along... Oops, wrong way. So, like, along here. So, that one's over there. So, this one can go over there, and this one can go over... That one. There. Now they're actually centered. And I can actually put in, in buy mode, the shower stations. And probably make them, I don't know, probably the blue one or the wooden one, I don't know yet. Uh, but all I have to do is go bathroom. <laughs> showers. Right here. It is not gross public shower station. How many of them? What colors are they again? See, it comes in white, wood, bluish purple, and, like, a greenish blue. So I think I'll go over the green blue, actually. And see where I can place them. There needs to be a space so that they can actually walk over to it. So, as long as I leave them spaced out. Although I think I'll, uh, just do it this way. And against there, that way it kind of... Goes around. I'll actually know it can go there because they can go in through either side, I think. So I'll have to test this out later, but it's kind of just a. If only I could put two over each other like that and have it both be two shower headed. But I'll do it like this, I guess, and have one there. And then also have you here. That way it's kind of like, okay, walk in there, walk in there, walk in there. And then you, and then you. And then this side can have one in the corner, if it'll fit. So you can sit, maybe? No, I think I'll put you there, actually. And then I'll put one more on this side. And then I can add the door in. So I have to make a, find the door that matches. So there is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven showers, although they're all facing weird directions, but that's okay. That's not what matters. What really matters is the fact that it's now a lot more open and it's more like a public pool because it's a public shower station. So now I can just grab the door once I go to buy or build mode. And you can grab out their doors. Oh no, because those are men women's and this is just one big public shower area. So I think I'll find a new door that kind of matches that, that, gold, that golden, that chrome, more chromish, showery feel. And since they're wearing swimwear, it doesn't need to be two, so I think I'll put this one in here, actually. So that's the little showering area that has those back there now. And that already looks better. And, I mean, I'm not gonna... Although this this little thing over here, the coffee area, is kind of weird. But I think I will actually probably redo this bar, too. Maybe not right now, but I should redo it eventually. Because, I mean, it looks cool, but at the same time, it's kind of awkward. But, yeah. 
so I already redid that, and this already looks better. Although I do love this little area over here. This is really pretty, and I, mean, I wish I could do something like this. Uh, I probably will. I probably could eventually if I messed around more with landscapes since... I mean, hey, I pulled off a garden, so or a Japanese garden. Maybe I can do a more Americanized park garden area to visit. I might do that next. Not as a speed build, but just as a separate lot to show off uh, for this world. Uh, but yeah, you guys don't work till later. What's this say? Ella Evans was like taking the dip in the pool. Awesome. Yep. So he's going to come over here too. But there she is in her swimwear shirt. Or yeah, her swimwear shirt and her shorts. I love how, how her hair like reflects in the water too. So it's kind of like it's floating in it. Where are you? Are you going to come in? No, you're at the bar. Wow. You don't need a drink. Swim. I don't need you getting drunk before you swim. Go swim. What's this anyway? Oh, best in show competition. Do I care? It's probably because he's a kitchen person, so he's able to do it. But yeah, he doesn't have to go to work until later. So when they tell me the carpool's coming, that's when I'll send them off. But Ella Evans just went swimming. Good for her. Are you going to get in the water? Come on, get in the water. Are you going to get in? She's already out, so... You might as well go in. Here. Talk about dropping some weight. Awesome. Uh, what are you going to do now? You're going to go home already? Cool. Yeah. Go home and get ready for work while he takes his little swim. So he looks like this. Oh yeah, I forgot I gave him the red shorts. And you can see his little heartless tattoo, which is awesome. I'm glad I got that set of CC. Um, and now he's actually going to take a shower. See? I knew these came to use. He's actually going to shower in the public shower stations. And you'll get to see him shower in a swimwear because that's how it works. I actually have a few of these in a couple houses where it's basically a shower with a little bar or to, with a little window bar to kind of be a little bit more private. But I mean, it's not like there's anything you have to hide. He's hungry. He should. Oh, yeah, cool. He can do basically everything here. So where are you actually going? Who's this? Who's this? Is this the good? Yeah, this is a good twin, actually. He already knows the bad one, but this is a good one, I think. Yeah, Andrew. Andrew Newton. He knows Tristan Newton, which is the bad twin. But here's the good twin. So yeah, Andrew's here. Although I don't know what he's going to do. Why are you already in your work clothes? Oh no, that's Tristan. Because I forgot Tristan. So the twins came here together. Even though Tristan's in his work clothes. And you can still see his triple nose rings, which are really kind of creepy. Which is why I'm glad I gave them to him. Because that was kind of the point. Uh, so yeah. Oh, Marisol is here too. Awesome. Why are you going to slap? Why do you like slapping girls? What is your problem? Okay, good. You stopped yourself. No. Okay, high-fiving is fine. Slapping is not. What are your traits, anyway? I didn't make you any bad. You're just a hot-headed. Why would you randomly slap girls? Like, what's your problem? Oh, you have to go to work now. Okay. You were just about to say hi to her, and now you have to go to work. <laughs> yeah, the little cafe area is here, which, I mean, this is a rabbit hole inside, obviously. But the outer areas, the bistro tables, I might redo. I'm doing saying that about a lot of lots. Who is this? Darius Buffington. See, I don't know who these people are. Some of the people who spawned in, I don't know, but most of the people here are mine, so that's the cool thing. Uh, you went swimming and blah. Carpool for Ella, carpool for Nate, yeah. So you're at work. They don't tell me you missed. No, you're on. Your, you're in the shower, actually. You already leave. Get out of the shower so you can go to work. You're about to miss. Okay, I just told you not to get in the shower. Why are you in the shower? Go to work. I'm gonna keep telling you to go to work until you go to work. Like, you can't just interrupt things with your stupid needs. In fact, you're not fine. I'm going to cheat your hygiene up just so that you can freaking go to work. I don't want you leaving. Like, I don't like cheating like that, but I just, I want her to go to work. Because otherwise she's going to be all like, I'm not working hard and I'm never going to get promoted because that's the thing. Like, he's already at work and she hasn't even left yet and it's already almost 6 and, like, her work ends at 9. I mean, what's the point of leaving now if you're already halfway through work, really? Like, sure, you get... Okay, no, I don't want that. No! Dang it. Stop doing that. I'm trying to cancel out these stupid things. There. I wonder if she even made it to work yet. Okay, yeah, she's there. In the big stadium area, which has some benches. And little floor patterns where the edges are, which is cool. So, yeah. There's nothing I can really do at these places, because this whole lot here is basically this, which is just a few benches and that, and... Dara? I wonder what she's doing. Probably running or something, although her hood's glitching through her hair. But yeah, Dara and, uh, 
Andrew. And over here is Allison. Awesome. So two the two shaved head girls are both here already here. Dar Sandara Park and Allison Foster. So Allison's over there on the bench. And it's cool to see people randomly around town like that sometimes. Just checking out work and stuff and being like, yo, who's here? Who is this anyway? Oh, you're going home. Okay, that's you. And you are on your way home too. I wonder who's actually... I'm not going to follow you though. I want to see who's here. Because there were a couple people who were here. Uh, yeah, there's a few people here. Who was here? Kaz, who's this? Courtney works here, okay. And Simon, and then Kaz is still in his normal clothes, thinking of Stuart. I wonder what that's about. Who's back in here? Stuart. Okay, that's why. So Stuart and Kaz are here, but I don't know where Danny is. Did she just, like, disappear off the face of the earth? <laughs> uh, all I know is that he's completely pissed off and everything, so, um... Let's see. You don't start for 18 hours, but you need to get your stuff up, so I guess... You can go sleep and stuff, and she's kind of okay, I guess. See, like, there's rock underneath all these lots, I noticed, because they always load up that way first. That way you can see the little faint pieces of rock, and then if you try to erase the terrain paint, you get rock. It's kind of funny, honestly. Uh, But yeah. Oh, this is all piling up on the porch now. I need to cancel that, actually. So I should have you cancel that. I hate... I mean, it's not like it bugs anyone, but... I don't like it. No, not enroll in university. Services. Call for services. In fact, while I wait, I can throw these away. Yes. And by throw away, I mean just sell, because I do this instead. Like, I mean, there's a trash can right there. Newspaper delivery cancel free. Call. Newspaper delivery canceled. Good. Luckily, since it's not morning, I don't have to worry about... The next one's already on its... Oh, okay. Don't sell. The next one's already on its way, so you'll get it anyway, because that happens a lot. 48... Wow. $48. Way to hold up for us, Ella. Jeez, you need to do your work. Uh, but yeah, so she... can go to bed, I guess. That's what she's doing, and he's over here. In bed already, so... <sighs> yeah, so I guess... They're asleep, and I have no clue what I'm going to do. All I know is that uh, he see, he still doesn't have skills. But, like I said, I guess I could do what I did last time and look around the town while they're doing that. And look at the different community lots and stuff and decide what to do. Because that's how I decided to go to the pool, because I looked at it and I was like, yo, and it turns out people did show up. I wonder who's at the cemetery. Like, I know there's going to be no one here, but I kind of want to see what graves are here. Because I know that there's people already automatically mixed into the graves. And there's even a little pond area back here that's of course you can't you can fish in it but i wouldn't fish in a cemetery pond although there's the death fish thing that you need to be super high skilled to get which loads of places like this i noticed so who is this or is this just uh meant to be like a wall i think it looks like it's like a half wall with a floor that was textured i noticed because it just says visit and then up here says go here so i don't know I think, it, but they're meant to be graves, I guess. Are there even any real graves here? Yeah, there are, and they all smoke at night. Remains. It's too bad these don't say whose. Remains. See, they don't actually tell you whose they are. Remains. Mourn. I don't want to mourn of a random person. Remains. And then this is a little fountain, I guess. No, it's another grave. Like, I don't get what these graves are. Like, they're interesting, but they're not real graves. Remains. These ones are. It's just they don't have names. Probably just remains again. Yep. I noticed that. Most of the cemeteries have maybe a two real names. And then everyone that's yours that's dead is inside of the little thing here. So that's where you can explore catacombs or open them. Because that's how you can look at who's there. But no one's dead from what I know because otherwise it would tell me that there were dead people and that I could actually retrieve them. Because it would be manage whatever. I think it's what it is. Manage the dead, yeah. Where you can take out the graves from there if you want to have them haunt you. There's a little fountain here. Awesome. Is this just a fountain or is this remains? No, that's a fountain. Okay, good. I was going to say. Like, why would there be a fountain-y remain? I don't know. Why am I even at the graveyard anyway? Back here is... What is this a statue of? Death. Of course it's a statue of death. Because we're in a cemetery and that's not weird. I mean, yeah, Statue of Death in a cemetery makes sense, but I mean, 
We're in a cemetery. That's the weird part. Like, I don't even know why I came over here. I just wanted to see who was here, I guess. And from what it looks of it, no one. Because everyone that's dead is just remains. There's no specific names. I wanted to see if maybe they snuck in some, like, Sims 1 references here. Because this is a Sims 1 world. So I wanted to see if maybe certain people who are dead, who are already started off deceased in Sims 1, were, like, there. Uh, let's see, it's 6 a.m. You have work, obviously, and she does too, but she'll be off tomorrow, but... Why don't you guys visit the... Maybe these just say community lot. I don't know what these are. Chapel on the Square, that's a church, apparently, even though it's not a real church. It's just called the Chapel on the Square, which means it's technically a church. And then this is just community lot. Community lot. Servo manufacturing plants. Japanese rock garden. It's daytime, so maybe someone's here. Although I see something moving down here. What's over here? Oh, it's a deer. Yeah. There's a deer down here. That's pretty. I have to take a screen of this. Because that's awesome. Here, let the textures load. You're apparently going to chat with Chloe. Okay. Come on, rocks. Load up and actually appear as rocks. Bambi and a deer. That's kind of a cute deer. That's a cute deer. And I didn't even know it would be here. But that's awesome. There's a little deer here. And not all the rocks have loaded. There's a few that have, but that's it. Oh, there you go. So now I can take a little picture of you, even though now you're black. Which is funny, because you weren't, bl weren't a black deer. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. There you go. So cute. Just a little deer at my little garden. I have to take a picture of that, because that was really cute. So let's see what this says. Screenshot was saved to your laundry. Yep. So I can go ahead and hit play now and look at what's up. So, I see, I saw something, that's why I did it, but apparently he's on the phone with her, or is he really next to her? Oh no, he's on the phone with her, I was gonna say. Uh, let's see, I don't know, I'm just gonna keep looking at the different community lots, because these are cool. The ones up here are just community lot, community lot, community lot. Uh, Little Tot Playground. No, I don't really want to talk to her right now. Uh, Empty? Yeah, that one's empty. And then this is the Gothic Quarter Park. Oh, there's a little park down here too, awesome! This is Gothic Quarter Park with Ella, just so I can see what it looks like. I mean, I could zoom into it, but I kind of want to see them there and see what's up, and, you know, it's cool. Oh, yeah, it's just this little corner piece. It's pretty. It even has cherry blossoms in the center. That is awesome. So I'm not the only one with cherry blossom trees, because it has its own big cherry blossom tree. And there's little ones over here, too. I wonder if a big one's in buy mode. But, no, don't. Actually, I don't really want you guys to go anymore, to be honest. I think, yeah, you don't need to go either. I think I'll just go map view, and I'll actually pause them for now, just so I'm not wasting their time in case I do want to take them somewhere. Why don't I try out the art gallery, actually, because I know what this is, an art gallery, so... Actually, it's the museum, but, you know, technically. So visit Crumple Bottom Memorial Museum with Nate. That's cool. They did the little the little sunroof thing with the, with the fences, because before they didn't have the, uh... I almost said university. The Into the Future sunroofs. Or square panel things. So let's go down and actually look what's in here. Since they're not on the lot yet, but I'm allowed to look. Oh, there's a basement level too, which is just bathrooms, really. Bathrooms and a little seating. Why would you... S oh, probably to wait for the bathroom people. And there's nothing down here other than that. So I don't know. Maybe this is so that you can put your own stuff down. I don't know. But over here has some art and some sculptures and some seating. And it's, it's nice. And over here is even a little coffee bar. They just put a coffee bar everywhere, don't they? And then there's the bell and some more stuff and stuff and screens and yeah so basically they use the base game furniture that looks like stuff from the sims one and there's even this little guy over here uh but yeah and you can see the bell from up here that's probably what it is is you can go in or you can see it from a higher up although to be fair that fence isn't very oh those are windows that's why it's a whole wall i was gonna say that fence isn't very tall but it's because i have wall down that's a window uh and then up here is more is more windows downward and there's benches and more stairs and stuff and art and high up is the top so i don't know it's a nice place i wouldn't suggest you guys going there though so i don't think i want you guys to go anymore see i love how i keep doing this i keep saying yeah sure go somewhere and then i'm like no because it doesn't seem interesting anymore after that so i guess i could pause you guys again for now this is literally just my routine. Look at the community lot, decide if I want to go or not, probably say no. Pfft. Yeah.
I like how the pool's on this side, though, and not way over here, because that'd be kind of awk. Uh, let's see what else is here. Community lots. There's the gym here. The Slim Sim Gym and Pool. There's another pool here or something. There's probably an indoor pool. Where's the library, anyway? Because I know there's a... Oh, right here, duh. The Buckingham Building. That's the library. I can talk about the book. Unless it's a bookstore. But I think that's a library. Well, no. Because there's the Buckingham Building, and then there's also the Lake Barrett Library. So, uh, you guys can visit the Lake Barrett Library. And then maybe go to the Buckingham Building later. Maybe not later today, but if I don't like this, I'll go over there. Basically. So I might cancel you again. But let's see what this place looks like. There you go. So go down. And I can probably turn walls down again. So there's the foundation. And then up here is the innards of the library. With bookshelves and a little toy area and stuff. This is a nice little library, actually. It's tiny, but that's cool. And then upstairs has some more bookshelves and, and sitting areas. And I'm guessing this is like a little classroom lecture hall. And over here is that. Actually, even though they don't actually fit in with this world, you know what I can do later? I can probably try and throw in uh, the little... Even though they're not going to have a child, probably not yet. The little child learning center thingy. So yeah, you guys can visit there for now. But I do want to look at this one too. The little child learning center thing. And also, uh, the, what's it called? The dance studio and some other stuff like that, because those look amazing, actually. So let's see, can I actually look at the inside of this place, even though they're not going to this one? Yeah, I can. Awesome. Let's see if anyone's even here. Yeah, actually, more people are at this one. In fact, all the three of us are here, although Chloe's in exercise wear again. Okay. But yeah, the three of us are here. And, uh... From what it, the looks of it, this place is actually kind of empty. The Buckingham building is, is read as a library, but it's really just a little f few office spaces and an empty room, from what it looks like. In fact, that's just the bottom floor, but let's see what's up higher. Same thing. Just a few office spaces and empty place. I don't know. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, so that doesn't look like a fun place to be. So you guys can actually use the real library, and then when it says you have to go to work, then you can go to work. In fact, actually, I might actually have to send you off really soon, so... And then I can probably end this part when you guys get to work. Just because I don't really want to... Oh, now there's people here. Awesome. Who's here? Pause. I love this episode's literally just, who's here? There's Alabena. I think that's her athletic... Yeah. Or... Is... Yeah, that's her athletic. She's playing football on a computer, but she's dressed in her athletic wear. Ironic. Who's over here? This is someone, right? Someone random, who I did not create. Cammy Buffington. See, they just have random people that they added into the town now, which is kind of annoying, but it's cool at the same time, because that means I'm not the only one with Sims here. And then here's Dan Darius Buffington. I just said Buffington. And here's, uh, Exalaga. Yeah, I think they went exercising. And then who's this chick? Xavier and Hamlet. What's with her hair? It just hasn't loaded yet. Oh, she has... Is that a he or is that a she? I don't know. Because I just remembered it looked like a girl because the hair, but I remember that's a boy's hairstyle too because Amai has it. Uh, anyway, carpool for Ella. Yeah, they need to go to work. Uh, so go to work. I'm just going to let you guys leave now. Go ahead and go to work. Work. I don't care about your other stuff because right now you're just kind of hungry. But you guys get food at work, don't you? You haven't talked to anyone in a long time. Jeez, you're gonna have to talk to your girlfriend a lot when you get home. Nearson's going somewhere. Yes. And then you work hard, and you work hard. So I think that's it for this series today. But I'm going to also go ahead and work on the mini series that I was doing, where like Z and everyone, everyone at our university, just because you know that. And then I also I don't know if I'm gonna continue Ghost Experiment because that involves building a house, and I don't really want to build a house right now. But you know. But yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, right now, they're going to go to work and do their worky stuff. But when they get back next time, I am probably going to do some off-screening. That way I can at least get them up to Sunday. And then I can go look for people. Because it's cool to meet more people. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.